Okay, so we kind of got kicked off right around here, okay, when we had condensed uh, our log um, and added, changed this addition to multiplying of the two uh, items here. And then we have that minus log of three here. And so since we have that minus, we are now going to be dividing because minus means quotient, which is fraction. So we take all of this log of nine times two to the third, that's our numerator, and we place the three in our denominator. So we have condensed this into one single logarithm of log of nine times two to the third divided by three, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and try uh, example B here. Again, if you need to pause and listen to this or rewind and listen to this again, please do so. Uh, I want you guys to try this out yourselves. Okay, so go ahead and pause. All right, so now that you've tried it on your own, go ahead and check your answer against mine. Okay, so you should have gotten ln of 4 times 3 to the third power over 12. Okay, and I know you're thinking, maybe, what if we can actually simplify that? But as of right now, I don't want you to simplify it. Okay. All right, guys, this brings us to change of base formula. Now, this is what you're going to love because this is going to allow you to actually um, plug in logarithms into your calculator, okay? So the change of base formula essentially says that you can change the base of any logarithm, okay? And the form works like this, okay? So let's say you have log base C of A, and C and A are just any numbers, right? And you can't work with this base of C and you want to change it to another base, okay? Well, you can easily change it by turning this into a fraction of logs. So what you end up doing is you take log base B, B would be any your new base. So log base B of A from here divided by log base B of C, so your original base. Okay, so log base B of, or base C of A becomes log base B of A divided by log base B of C. So A stays where it is, and this, your old base now becomes what you're taking the log of on the bottom, okay? Now the cool thing is, is with common log, our base 10, we can easily use our, make our base 10. And so if I have log base C of A, that, and C is a base that I don't have a calculator button for, well, I can rewrite this in, with the common log and just make it log of A over log of C, where our base is 10. And that you can actually plug into your calculator. How awesome is that? So log of A over log of C. You can do this with natural log, with ln, with that base E. So again, you would just rewrite log base C of A with as ln of A over ln of C. So this is really cool now that we can actually evaluate things like log base 3 of 8 using a calculator. So if I use common log, that's my base of 10, log base 3 of 8, okay, becomes log base 10 of 8 over log base 10 of 3. And I just plug that fraction into my calculator and I get the value of 1.89. If I use my natural log, very simply, I have same thing. So same log base three of eight, just still using ln now, okay? So I have ln now of eight. So what I'm taking the log of divided by ln of three, the base. Okay, the order does matter. You do need to have the base and the bottom, okay? Um, so when I plug that into the calculator, lo and behold, we get the same exact value. So we can conclude that it doesn't really matter whether we use the base 10 or the, the base E um, because you're essentially changing the base to whatever you want it to be. It's going to give you the same end result. Okay, so go ahead and try this one out. So again, we have log base 6 of 24. We want to evaluate it using a calculator. Okay, so again, the 24 will be on top. The 6 will be on the bottom. Okay, so we have log using common log, log base 10 of 24 over log base 10 of 6. And of course, plugging that into our calculator, we simply get 1.77. Using the natural log, we have the same exact thing, but instead of log, we have ln. 
So again, ln of 24 over ln of 6. And if you guessed it, you're right, it is equal to 1.77. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead and try these out. And I'm not putting a restriction. You can literally use natural log or common log. You can use base 10 or base E. Set up the ratio, plug it into your calculator, pause the video so you can actually work through these. Now that you've had a chance to work through them, okay, go ahead and check your answers against mine. Okay, and if you're good, then that's great. Okay, go on to Khan Academy. So you're going to be working on Khan Academy now. Um, and Khan Academy is directly linked to, the, to this. And it's going to be a way for you guys to practice a little bit more about what we just did. Um, and then I will be checking that before I get back. Okay, if you have any questions, I will see you Wednesday in the morning during tutoring or Thursday during lunch. Have a good day, guys.